Ukraine's military has accused Russia of sending more tanks and troops into the east of the country to support pro-Russian separatists. NATO says it's seen an increase in Russian troops and equipment along the border between the two countries and is looking into reports that tanks crossed into Ukraine. The Ukrainian authorities claim government forces killed up to 200 rebels at Donetsk airport on Thursday. None of the information has been confirmed. Kiev says the Russian incursion happened on Thursday. The spokesman said the convoy headed towards the town of Krasny Luch in the Luhansk region. It consisted of 32 tanks, 16 D-30 howitzer artillery systems and 30 Kamaz trucks carrying ammunition and fighters. Russia didn't respond immediately to Kiev's latest accusations but said it still supported a ceasefire deal. But Friday's funerals for two teenagers killed in Donetsk only strengthen a feeling that the Minsk Accord is increasingly in tatters. The boy's teacher blamed the Ukrainian government. Ukraine isn't killing dogs, it's killing people, she cried. Why is everybody silent? Why do our children have to die, leaving us to pray? The school football pitch where a mortar shell killed Andrei Elisev and Daniel Kuznetsov isn't far from rebel positions which have often come under government fire. Kiev denies responsibility, blaming planned provocation by separatists.